Today begins the registration process for the Midland High School 2020-2021 school year. This video will walk you through exactly what you need to do in order to successfully register for next school year. If you have a question, it is important you email your counselor. Make sure you email the correct counselor. Failure to do so will cause a delay in answering your question or resolving a problem. Students are matched with a counselor based off of their last name. For instance, if your last name is Davis, you would email Ms. Markham, and if it is Perez, you would email Ms. Taylor. All special education and English language learner questions would go to Ms. Phillips and Ms. Hutchins. This information represents the administration of Midland High School, where we have the primary administrators, assistant principals, and support services. For attendance issues, such as making up time, see your assigned assistant principal, not your counselor. It is important to note that counselors do not provide transcripts. For a copy of your transcript, contact Ms. Gutierrez in the Registrar's Office or Ms. Luft, the Data Clerk. On your transcript, there are a few important items to pay attention to. Demographics confirms whether your name is correct or not. Star slash EOC indicates whether you have met the standard or not. If there is a date, the standard has been met. If not, then credit has not been earned yet. Course Categories organizes the courses that you have taken by category. Now, what if there is an asterisk next to a grade? It means that credit was lost due to attendance. GPA is where you can find your current 5-point GPA, which is weighted, and your current 4-point GPA, which is not weighted. Credits simply lists the number of credits you have currently earned. The graduation check sheet serves two purposes. First, it helps you know the order of courses that you will be taking. Second, it helps you know where you stand in regard to required credits. You can use your transcript to determine which credits you have earned and which credits are still needed for graduation. A credit is a class that has been successfully completed. Classification is determined by original ninth grade entry date. For example, a junior who has earned 18 credits mid-year will not be classified as a senior until the end of the academic year. MISD students earn two GPAs, 5-point, which is weighted, and 4-point, which is unweighted. This is a list of classes that count towards your GPA. It's important to note that not all classes count towards your GPA, such as art and PE. All students in MISD will graduate on the foundation program with an endorsement unless otherwise determined by their counselor. In registering for next school year, you will make selections on this course card. Once you have completed your course card, you will transfer your information into School Link's course planner. All students must make selections for English, Math, Science, and Social Studies. If you are currently in an athletic sport, you may sign up for that sport for next year. If you are not currently in a specific sport, you must go through the tryout or approval process for each specific sport before you can be added. For example, if you play basketball but want to play tennis next year, you must go through the formal tryout and approval process for tennis. For pages 2 and 3 of your course card, all available electives are listed by endorsement. If you are unsure what your chosen endorsement is, it can be found on the back of your transcript. Once you know what your endorsement is, please locate it on the course card. For example, if you are in Graphic Design 1, you would look to the right and circle Graphic Design 2. Keep in mind that all students must sign up for seven total courses. Non-endorsement elective choices can be chosen from anywhere on the course card with the exception of academy electives, which can only be chosen by students in the academy. However, if you are on the multidisciplinary endorsement, you may make choices anywhere on the choice card. Remember, do not register for academy courses if you've not currently been accepted to that academy. Listing alternative courses are mandatory, not optional.
However, be careful what you choose because you may be placed in those courses. For students on the multidisciplinary endorsement, this is especially important due to the fact that students who are in the endorsement will be given the first choice in electives of that area. Seniors, please use one of your alternate choices to designate an alternate science choice. Many times, we need an alternate science course due to scheduling conflicts or a large number of students requesting that course. Please remember, waivers are not available during registration and you must sign up for seven courses. Dr. Sparacello will provide waiver information before the end of the school year. Lastly, please sign your registration card and date it. School Links is the MISD component that works with Skyward for registration purposes that helps students plan and prepare for college, career, or military. Here is a list of all of the services that School Links provides for high school students. In order to log into School Links, students must first log into their Clever account. This can be done from either a computer at home or school. If students are on a school computer, they can simply click on the Clever icon on the desktop. Then, use your ID number as both your username and password. Next, scroll all the way to the bottom and click on the School Links icon. To access Clever from home, visit MidlandISD.net. Once on the home screen, click Students and Parents. Then click Student Links. Next, click Clever. Then use your ID number as both your username and password. From here, Scroll all the way to the bottom and click on the School Links icon. Next, let's look at how to create a four-year plan in School Links. First, hover over School and then click Course Planner. Then, pick a plan and click on Not Started. In this screen, the left panel shows all requirements The middle panel shows the student's status on meeting the requirement. And the right panel is where students choose pathways, programs, majors, or courses. Next, click on Next Requirement to advance. If you are a returning student, you will see some courses already filled. Let's select a different subject. By clicking a grade, you can see all courses available to be requested. Students can also search by course name or number to look up a course faster. You can also click Course Catalog to search for courses if you do not know the name. To add a course, simply click on the course card. To remove a course, click the X button. In each category, make sure you read the requirement information so that you understand what is required for graduation. Advance through all requirements by following instructions and choosing courses. School links will tell you if you are meeting graduation requirements or not. Once you have satisfied all of the requirements, indicated by a green checkbox, click Alternate Courses. Here, you will select three alternate courses, which you can search by typing in the course name, or by typing in the course number. Once you have selected three alternate courses, click Course Plan Summary. On the Plan Summary page, you will see your requirement status. A green check mark means that the requirement has been met. A red error means you will need to double check and correct errors. 
After you're done with the course plan, click Submit Plan. It should be noted that you can submit a plan with errors. Simply write a note and indicate why you think the errors are not important and you will still meet graduation requirements. With school links, your parents can create an account to assist you with scheduling for next year. Students must exhibit college, career, or military readiness before graduation. You must satisfy at least one of the following requirements in order to graduate. Remember, it is absolutely critical that you monitor your grades and attendance in Skyward. If you are having any issues accessing Skyward, please see Ms. Gutierrez, Ms. Luft, or Ms. Silva. Please make sure you are aware of and meet all registration deadlines.